What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. In this one, we're going to be running around and trying to do some of the old uh, quest lines that we did er very early on in the gameplay. Uh, basically what I want to do is specifically do the mission those. The one with the giant ants and stuff like that that for some reason wasn't really working for me. It might have been my fault. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and try to do that in this video So if that's something you're excited to see do me a huge favor drop a like on the video Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow So with that being said, let's get on with this video. All right, so first things first We have to get out of here Oh, there goes Harkness. I like Harkness man. He's really cool Maybe at some point uh, we, we definitely need to do the replicated man quest line because I know it has a specific perk that you can get um, that's really good for uh, laser builds. Alright, so let's go ahead. We haven't discovered it yet. Uh, Alright, we'll stop here first. And then that should be pretty... That should get us there pretty quickly. So we got a pretty good amount of laser ammo that we ended up purchasing uh so it's it should last us a pretty good minute the only question is will the condition of my weapon be an issue i guess maybe not so much mainly because uh i mean i could always pay for uh for repairs right so it shouldn't be too much of an issue I'm kind of curious to know what a laser, what laser ammunition period does to those giant ants. I think we're actually here, as a matter of fact. Alright, let's go ahead and go into the different camera view. I want a laser rifle, man, not a laser pistol. Hold on. Is that the only ant around here? Maybe we could get a sneak attack critical. And that's a no-go. Die! Oh, God. Get away from me, you ant. Well, at least he died. Definitely wasn't, uh... The results that I wanted to see. Oh, God. Will this reach him? Holy shit. Now that's definitely the result I wanted to see. <laughs> the ash pile's all sideways. Alright, uh, there's nothing... In that ant. Alright, let's see if we can... Oh god, I can hear another one. Where is he though? I don't know. Where are you? There he is. Come on, baby. Where is he? I can't see. I can barely see him. I was about to say, honestly, I can't even tell if I'm hitting him or not. No, give me the freaking ant meat, damn it. Oh, God. Alright, so the cup. Wait, is there another one coming from this way? Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, there he is. Come on, baby. Yes, you do. Alright, I know there's another one around here somewhere. There he is. What's up, bro? Come on, are you gonna die or what? There we go. There's still a couple over there. I want to talk to the kid first before we continue on too far. Got to make sure it's clear around here so that the kid doesn't die, though. You know what I mean? Ha! Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here. If you Come say on, so. Tell me already. Uh, what happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. Uh, 
think I'm the last one left. Those things, like everyone else. Uh, who else lived in Greyditch? Um, besides me and my papa, there was Doc Wesker, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Do you know what happened? Uh, did, do you know the others in the town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. Fact, I understand. Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Let me ask you something else. All right. What is it? Mind if I ask you something about the people who lived here? Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. So tell me about Doc Lesko. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Where did da uh, Doc Lesko stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny looking TV machine with the green word pushing buttons. Uh, do you have any idea what he was doing in Greenwich exactly? Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Gasp! Did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of life, some funny glass bottles. Oh, wait! He had a big, clunky, shiny man, too. That was kind of mm -hmm. neat. Uh, so, about the other people from Grey Ditch. Yeah? Tell me about Brandis, uh, the Brandis family. Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. So where did Brandis live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Uh, so you and Will were good friends, I'm, I'm assuming? Yeah. Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. I can tell. So, how about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice, too. She was kind of quiet. But she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. So, Will's dad was scary? How is that? He was, like, always watching me and my dad real careful. Like, he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Got you. Alright, let's talk yeah. about something else. Alright, what is it? Uh, can you tell me more about the things uh, attacking Greyditch? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, <laughs> that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. Uh, is there any special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Got it. Uh, have they been, have they always been around? Nah, those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Yeah, I get it. Let's, uh, right. talk about something else. What is it? So, where exactly is your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay. I have to go now. I just wish things would go back to how they used to be. Yeah, here, let's close the door so that you're nice and safe. So, this is the diner. Where did he say he lived? He said something sticking out of it. I don't know. 
All right, well, let's go into this house first. He said this is Dr. Lesko's house. Oh, crap. So this is locked. I think in order to get in there, we have to come in here first. Maybe? I don't know. All right. Oh, look, dead ants. That's not good. Oh, look. It's what's his name's dad. So I found the key. Before I go to get, uh, talk to him, though, I want to look around. Uh, alright, we'll take that, 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 that. Alright. Thank you for, uh, the stuff. No, I don't want 32. I want some fusion cells, kid. Give me some freaking fusion cells. Definitely take the stim packs. Can I actually sleep here? Let's find out. Why, yes, I can. Very nice. Um, Alright, let's go. First things first, we gotta check out the shack. Oh, God, dude. This guy was literally... Alright, Dr. Lesko's password recording. Is this an actual password that we can read? Would it be under notes? Uh, yes. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formesidai. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. So, I guess he forgot to destroy the password. Dr. Lesko's pass, uh, uh, terminal. Alright. So the science robot's not in the thing, so it's empty. Science robot command input. Okay, out of range. Person knows where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working... You know what? I'm not going to read these because I've already read them. Uh, but you guys are more than welcome to go into the last attempt in this video and if you guys want to know what's on those terminals because I did read every single one of them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now. Alright, I think I have some bad news for you, kid. Oh no. What happened? So, about your dad, uh, he's kind of dead, man. He's, he's dead? Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. I feel you, kid. Alright, I'll stop whatever starting this, I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go take care of all this stuff, okay? Be careful. Or those things might get you. They won't. Stay in here. I'll be back. So where do I have to go? Did my quest get updated? Nope, I need to go this way. Those remove the source of the fire ants. Tracking. Um, where is it though? I can't remember. I think it was over here somewhere. Hello, ant. Oh god, I missed. Die! Hell yeah. I love killing these stupid ants. Alright, let's go ahead and loot these ash piles first, actually. You never know when you might need those, uh, what are they called? Ant meats. Damn it, die already. Uh, how's my vats from here? Actually, not too bad. Super dope. 
Now, if only I had a laser rifle. That would make my day. Is there another one coming? It's not coming, but... Do I have to go around and kill all these ants when I'm done? I'm not sure. So that one's dead. Damn it, die, you stupid ant. These things are tanky as hell, aren't they? I think it's down here. I want to say it's down here. Oh. Alright, I can't see. These stupid freaking ants, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and bat them to death. See? Just like that. Look at me, I'm on fire. Nothing in here. Um. There you are. Alright, he should be dead right now. I just couldn't see him to be able to target him normally. Luckily, I'm a Vats build, so this should be uh, probably a little bit better. Die! Oh god. You gonna die or what? There we go. Dude, I'm literally just running through fusion cells right now. I thought I was prepared. Fuck, man, I can't see this guy. There we go. Maybe I should... Maybe I should actually target what I'm supposed to target. Their antenna. According to what the kid said, what's this holotape? Grady's last recording. Uh, notes right there. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key. Well, unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Uh-oh. Room with a spinning light? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. That's not definitely not a, a priority of ours. But, if we ever need to, we know where to go. Alright, where am I supposed to go, though? That is the question. I'm assuming it's this way. This isn't where the dogs are, are they? I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and blast them this way. Antenna. 58? Oh, God. Let me get back. There we go. I really love laser weapons. Um, I'm going to guess it's this way. Realistically, I don't even know where the hell I'm going, man. I'm just literally going with the flow right about now. There's an ant right here, isn't there? Oh, God. How the fuck? No! What the hell am I stuck on? Oh, God, that's terrible. Run away! Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Because I don't know what happened, but I fell down and now I'm dead. Uh, where's my stim packs? We'll take four of these. Let's go ahead and reload. And then we'll hit them in vats. Come on, baby. No, come on. Do some critical hit damages, damn it. Come 
Die, you stupid ant. There we go. That ant was tanky. Like, really tanky. I mean, I could hear a ton of them, dude. My God. Oh, let's go. Okay, antenna's 33. No, thank you. I'm just going to go in for the torso. Come on, damn it. Wait a minute. They explode? I didn't know they explode. Some bullshit. These ants are damn... They're overpowered. Do I have grenades? Because I feel like I need grenades right now. Um... A minigun? What the fuck do I need a minigun for? Drop this shit. Uh, let's go with the combat shotgun. Oh, shit. Alright. No! Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, God. Well, that definitely didn't go the way I uh, imagined it would go. I'm already running low on freaking stim packs. Oh no. My shit's getting jammed too. It could not get any worse. I mean, I, I guess it, 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 it can get worse. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I hope it doesn't get worse. Come on, baby. This mission's pretty tough, all things considering. I hear ants. Oh, hello. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Uh, sorry, I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. But do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? You sound like a psychopath, dude. Experiments? What do you mean, experiments? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a free birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? No. It's not. Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous. So, what exactly went wrong? Well, I'm afraid I made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis the ability to emit flame from their body. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. Well, that's terrifying. Uh, I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. So what exactly can I do to assist you in this endeavor? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. 
and how and just how all of it will all this undo the mayhem you caused I rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse once I send this pulse all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process so that's all there is to it what do you say so all I have to do is destroy the freaking guardians got it tracking uh if it'll stop the ants from burning down Grey Ditch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous. Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Well. My work is done? It's not done. Alright, I have to go now. Be ever vigilant. Those from the genus Solenopsis are not to be trifled with. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be, uh... Terrible. Let's go ahead and save though. That way we at least have a fighting chance. Well, there's the hole. We're so gonna die. Last time we attempted this, we died multiple times. Just trying to kill the freaking guardians. So I gotta be careful though because there's only 10 rounds of this. I'm going to go ahead and use it all up. Alright, and now that that's done, let's go ahead and go back to our laser rifle, or pistol, and bust the cap in this thing. Oh, I was about to say, thank God. Alright, come on. Don't jam on me, baby. Come on. Wait, you know what I should do? I don't know why I haven't done this yet. Uh, where's that nectar? The nectar does fire resistance plus 25. So let's go ahead and do that because, I mean, let's be real here. I need all the fire resistance I can take. Come on, baby. die I mean thank god he's not doing anything but in the process I'm literally using up all of my uh, my ammo here I, I think this is a good place to save again um, all right we'll save here Alright, I could definitely hear more of them. How many are left? Um, quests. I'm not sure. Come on. Oh, God. No! Don't jam up on me, damn it! Come on, die! Oh, that backfired. Leave me alone! I literally can't see. Oh my god, I did it. Thank God for that fire resist, right? Alright, so let's save it once more. Because I think all the guardians are dead, as a matter of fact. Wait, hold on. What's the quest right now? Remove the source of the fire ants. Um, eliminate all five of the nest guardians from the queen's hatchery. So that means they're not all dead. Oh god, there's the, the queen ant. Oh no. Big book of science. Let's see if we can take this. This is intelligence, right? Oh god, that's not working. Alright, let me get out of here. Wait, let me see if I can talk to this robot. Alright, I'm leaving.
I want to say I have to run back to the doctor now. Right? I don't know. Let's find out. The condition to my freaking laser pistol is terrible. And I don't have any replacements to be able to fix it either, so... I may be screwed in that department. Uh, map. How do I switch world map? Um, show location. I don't know. I guess there's no local map. I thought there was. Alright, let's go. Let's holster our weapon just so we can walk a little bit faster. Doc, come here. Why is he fleeing? Did something come? Um... Doesn't seem like it. I have no idea what's going on right now. Come here, Doc. I trust your task is progressing well. Uh, well, my task is done. Oh, how marvelous! Please tell me what happened. I killed all. Oh shit. Uh. I think we missed a guardian. Oh, now this. I. Do all right, let's go. I'm. I'm gonna run back. If we missed a guardian, we gotta take care of it. Can I sleep here? Damn you, doctor! Should be a lot easier now, though. Hopefully my weapon holds up. Because if it doesn't... Well then, I mean, that's a problem now, isn't it? Alright, we should be good, though. I'm just trying to figure out how many... How many we killed, so that's one. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure we killed two more. Oh no, there was one down here. Right? Is this a guardian? Yeah, this is two. And then I think there was two right here. Yeah. That's three. Four. They should all be dead. Oh, there he is. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Return to Dr. Lasco. Or Lesco. And on that note, let's go. Did it. Don't worry, guys. I'll be here all week. Let's see what Dr. Lesco has to say. And if potentially we'll get a freaking reward. Because, you know, we're all about those rewards. <laughs> I could have sworn it was supposed to be four fire ant guardians or whatever. But I killed five, so there's that. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong and there was always five. Get out of my way, fire. Dr. Lesko, what's up? I detected some changes within the queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Uh, well, my doc, my uh, my work is done. Oh, how marvelous! Please tell me what happened. So I killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. So I'm ready for my mutagenic bio enhancer injection, Doc. How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? Uh, physical sense. Actually, you know what? I'll do ant sight to increase my perception. How marvelous! Ant sight it is. Hold still, please. I think that would be a lot more useful for me to be able to hit inside of vats. What? What? Uh, ant sight perk added. You've been granted the perception and 
flame resistant of the gray ditch fire ants. Your perception it has increased by one, and you are now 25% fire resistant to fire. Hell yeah. That's actually pretty freaking good. I wonder if I can sleep in his bed now. Damn it, doctor! I need to go find someone to fix my freaking weapon. That's what I really need. So how the hell can I get out of here quickly? I guess I have to run all the way through this place again, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Yay, me! Luckily, I don't think it was very big, but I mean... I could be mistaken, of course. It really sounds like there's a lot more freaking fire ants down here. Alright, it kind of seems like we're close to the exit. Maybe. Alright, so I remember... I came down the escalators, right? So let's go upstairs and... This is where we found that one dead body with the hollow thing. There we go. We came this way. You can tell because you can see my handiwork all around here. I'm not even going to worry about that freaking fire ant. Give me some Nuka Cola. One, that's all you got for me? Dude, I'm pretty sure I spent like 300 freaking rounds here. Wait, what's my mission? Uh, quest. Return to Brian. Where's this kid at? I'm probably gonna go to Megaton and fix my freaking weapon. I think Moira might be able to fix my weapon pretty nicely. But I can't remember if anybody... I don't remember what a repair skill is. I need to invest some freaking points in repair, to be honest. But even then, I don't have laser weapons to repair this one, so I'm kind of... kind of screwed either way. Kind of hard to breathe in this thing. Don't worry, kid. I'm here. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, well, I mean, to me, to be honest, man, I'm just glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. Don't worry about it, kid. Now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Oh, I will. Um, I can't leave you here alone. Let me find you a place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Uh, actually I give up. I can't find it. Damn. Uh, any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City. But I oh my god. Maybe I can find... What's her name? Let me see. Well, Papa always told me about Vera. Papa called the place Rivet... Alright, we gotta find... We gotta find her. Let me see if we can go to Rivet City. Rivet City is not a bad place either though because... Wait. Uh, find some place for him. Rivet City. Let's go. Vera. We gotta find Vera. And while we're at it, we need to fix our weapon. That much is for damn sure. What's up, bro? Just passing in. Don't worry about me. Hold on, let's go ahead and wait until the morning. That way, when we go in there, the, the freaking stores are up and selling stuff. Alright, let's go. Alright, who could fix my weapon? I think this guy could fix my weapon. 
decided to check out the shop, eh? Kind of. If you want any of this shit, just holler. Not really. I kind of want you to fix my shit. There we go. Repair no my stuff. At all. I hope you can fix my stuff. Laser. Uh, repair. Is that all I can do? If you need Let me see where my condition is not bad, actually. So, all right, let's go find... Vera, come on, Vera. Uh, don't worry about me. Yes. Tammy. Hi there. Brock. Nope. Morning. I wonder where I can find this lady. Hi. How are you today? Uh, pretty good, but I'm not here to talk. Unfortunately. Um. Huh. Vera, where would I be able to find her? Common room? Maybe. It won't hurt to look. Yeah. That's not that's not Vera. Got that's you. uh Diego Father Clifford. Huh. Vera. I don't know where this leads, but let's go ahead and check. Abso freaking lootly nowhere. I seriously wonder where Vera will be. Science lab. We'll check there soon. Who knows? Maybe it's a guard. So, the answer is no. Ted. Um. Whoa. Nope. Get out of there. I'm not trying to get caught for stealing. Staley's door. Let's back out to the marketplace. I'm not going to the marketplace. Let's go into the science room. Who knows? Maybe it's in there. Cantonelli's door? Well, this is a big ass place. Dude, this place is like drugged out like crazy. Holy shit. Someone enjoys their drugs here. Um, science lab. Let's go. Do you guys know a Vera? Yes. Garza. Are in such a hurry. I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, no. You. Who are you? Hey. Christine Young. No. All right, let's check the upper, the wealthy Weatherly Hotel. Hello. What's up, CJ? That's sure for a reason. Shut up, guy. Are you looking at me? Shut up, dude. Holy crap! There's a lot of guns here. Did this motherfucker just lock me in here? I can't even. I'm gonna have to uh, load the upper deck. Hey. He literally locked me. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. Alright. Uh, this guy's name is Sister. What the hell? Vera! Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Um. Alright, let's try this. Uh, have you heard any interesting gossip? Why should I tell you? You'll just tell everyone else. All right then, Vera. Your nephew Brian uh, lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. That's amazing. I think Brian will love his new home. I'll send him along shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Hell yeah. Wait, so... Is that the end of the mission, or do I have to go back to him? Uh, find a home for Brian Wilkes. I want to say I have to go back, so let's go ahead and... Get out of here. Wait, Rivet City Market. Yeah, this is going to be the easiest way to get out of here. I'm actually... Glad that you can actually go get out through here. 
Hold on, so the marketplace should be out through here. Yep, alright, cool. So we should be able to fast travel now, actually. Yep, great ditch. Brian, Brian, guess what? I talked to your aunt. <laughs> Get it? Aunt? Because we just killed aunt? No, alright. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, he's, prob he's probably in his old home. Aw, oh, poor kid. Oh, there's no more ants here. He literally cleaned up the whole place. Is he, is he down here? No. Hey, kid, what's up? I hope you found me a place to live. I did. Uh, I sure did, Brian. Uh, Vera said she'll take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Will do. I kind of I kind of want to fast travel over there and find out what's going on. Oh, cool. I leveled up. So I want toughness, but hold on, let me see. Uh All right, let's go with where would toughness be under anyways? All right, well, for now, let's go ahead and put this into repair. And barter to buy weapons or ammo. So continue. I want toughness. That's what I really want. Oh, there we go. All right, toughness. There we go. Done. So toughness. Actually, I kind of want bloody mess too. I think we'll get that next. Yeah, I think we'll get that next. So for now, hell yeah, toughness. Hold on, what is the... What is the perks exactly? Skills? Perks. Toughness. Uh, with toughness perk, you gain 10% to overall damage. Uh, resistance up to the maximum of 85%. That's actually really good. So let's go ahead and travel back to Rivet City because I'm really, really curious to see if we're going to find uh, Brian over there with his Aunt Vera. This place is huge, man. All right. Luckily, we know exactly where she is now. So if we go through here and then hang a left, she should be through that door. All right, so let's go this way. The Weatherly Hotel. Let's go. All right, where is she? Is this her? Hey there. No. Good to see you. Um, where is she? Will you guys shut up? All right, let's go ahead and wait. The majority of the day. And then uh, probably first thing in the morning, we will check and see. I'm thinking maybe 9 in the morning. So as soon as it says 9 a.m., we're definitely going to hop up out of this waiting screen. 7, 8, 9. All right, let's go. Wait, is that her? Hello. Janice. Oh, there he is. Checking up on me or something? Hell yeah, dude. How are you doing? Uh, how are you getting along now that you left uh, Grey Ditch behind? Oh, Vera is the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that. But she really cares about me. Builds character, Plus, man, and I responsibility. Here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. I'm so happy, man. See ya, mister. At your service. Vera. Welcome back, sir. You're not looking at me, but... Uh, so are there any fun rumors flying around Rivet City? You yes! Heard? Angela? Has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. <laughs> uh, let's try it again. Why should I tell you? Okay. So, I heard St uh, Staley has a crush on Diego. Oh, yes. From you. <laughs> crazy about him. He keeps telling her no. But he also spends a lot of time with her. 
it's really not fair to her. No, I agree. That's messed up. All right, so I don't know if I want to ask this, but let's do it. What's the deal with that little punk, Jesse Hargrave, or James? His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Oh, that's messed up. Uh, so long, Vera. Farewell. I'm happy. I'm legitimately happy that everything pretty much turned out for the best. Not even gonna lie. All right, where? How do I get back to the? Uh, to the what's it called? To the marketplace right here. All right, let's jump down. All righty. So we're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now, guys. Uh, we're already getting super close to that one hour mark. I had an absolute blast. I'm so freaking happy we were able to complete this mission. And on top of that, we were able to find Brian a new home. That one was very important to me once I realized that was an option. Mainly because he's just a kid, dude. He really needs to have a place to live, you know what I mean? He was suggesting he wanted to live in Grey Ditch all by himself and that's not a good way to live man so I'm happy that we got him back to Rivet Cities to live with his aunt and that's that so if you liked the results of that quest do me a huge favor drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel as well if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next video deuces